everyone, and welcome back to Casual Climbers, the podcast by and for beginning hikers. I'm your host, Donna Patrick, and alongside me is my husband and adventure buddy, Roy. Hi, Donna. Hi, Roy. So in this podcast, Donna and I provide you with tips, tricks, and reviews of some of the many hiking trails in the Blue Ridge area, and at least for the next several weeks, the greater Appalachian Mountains region. So we may be unfit hikers. Mm Mm-hmm. But we do love the outdoors, and we want to share our experiences with you. In today's Trail Snacks episode, we stay west and discuss Gap Cave Trail in Cumberland Gap National Historical Park, Kentucky. This 1.5-mile there-and-back trail takes you to a great cave that you can tour with a reservation during the summer months, May through September. Mm -hmm. So what do you say, Donna? Ready to get started? Let's go. So here's Gap Cave Trail by the numbers. As mentioned, it's a 1.5 mile there and back trail, and the time it took us was 47 minutes. Now, of that, 42 minutes was actual moving time. The lowest point is 1,431 feet. The highest point is 1,732 feet, so it's about a 300-foot elevation change. The friendliness of the trail, pets are allowed, and I think this is actually one of the few motorized mobility-friendly trails out there. Yeah, we when we were hiking it, there was a guy on a what was it a four by four like a almost like a it was like a gator, so like a almost like a a glorified golf cart. Yeah, golf cart. Yeah, I was thinking golf cart with special wheels. Yeah, something. Yeah. I, but yeah, anyway, he it, it he was one of the park people, mm-hmm. so he was doing some maintenance. He was tree cutting stuff like that. Yeah, he was driving really fast. He was driving fast. He was driving around, fast around the corner. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, but thankfully the thing's loud, so yeah, so you can hear it coming. All right, so to get there, search for Daniel Boone Visitor Information Center in your map app, and that's going to show up in Ewing, Kentucky. Now, first of all, let's start with the parking area. It's huge. This is a huge parking area. A hundred, hundred and fifty cars, maybe easily. Yeah, in this parking area. All paved, outlined parking spots. So I doubt you're going to have a hard time finding any parking. No, I I guess I thought because this is the first trail that we did first on our did in, in Kentucky, our trip right. to Kentucky, mm-hmm. and for some reason I thought we were in Virginia when we parked and did this trail. This trail is not in Virginia. That's correct. But how close is it to the Kentucky Virginia border? Like right along. The- yeah. Right along, like, if you take a spur, you're probably going to be in Virginia. Okay. All yeah. right. <laughs> and if you take another spur, you're probably going to be in Tennessee. It's right there on the border. Yeah. It's like a tri-state area. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. There is a visitor center that is open sometimes. You just check the website to see when it's open. Mm-hmm. And there's bathrooms in there that I thought were clean and well-proportioned. They or well-apportioned. Mm-hmm. They had... Soap and paper towels and toilet paper. The bathroom was clean. It was a good bathroom. Yeah. Now this is the the welcome center that has the the movies about the pioneers traveling the wilderness road. Yes or no? No. No. Okay, that's a different welcome center. Yep. I've got some stuff conflated in my head. <laughs> that one's in Virginia, Duffield, okay. Virginia. Okay. Yeah. This one doesn't have movies or anything. It's just got a small visitor center. Oh, okay. Yeah. About it. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, that was a nice bathroom. It was um. Right next to a display of like history, they have some cutouts of. They're like I don't know. I think they're made of some kind of brass or something. I think iron. they're bronze sculptures. Bronze. Yeah, so yeah. that's where the trail starts. Right there's after you get to the parking area, you're gonna see a. <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna see a covered bridge area, and the bridge just it doesn't really go over a stream, but it goes into the trail part itself. Mm -hmm. And on either side of the bridge, there are these sculptures that I believe are probably bronze metal of some kind. You can't get close to them to see them. Yeah. They're sort of fenced off in a nice way though. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah. And they have plaques talking about the history of the place. Yeah. So this is the entrance point to the wilderness trail at this stage. Right. So the Wilderness Trail started in Duffield, Virginia, and went all the way up through Kentucky, almost to Missouri. So this is an access point to Wilderness Trail, which is the trail that Daniel Boone helped blaze to get settlers from Virginia into, quote unquote, Cane Tuck back then, <laughs> which in their minds was the West. Yeah, that right? was the West. It was the West. It was on the other side of the mountains. Right? It was west no of idea. Virginia. It, it was is west. 
And so at this area, at the covered bridge, there are these sculptures and there's sculptures is probably the wrong word. They're, they are metal cutouts. Yeah. Reliefs of Daniel Boone, some settlers. Yeah. yeah I'm going to put... gonna post pictures on our Instagram so you can see them. Yeah. There's animals, there's natives. And then there's signs there that give you, you know, the interpretive historical value of this trail and what these statues kind of yeah. talk about. I think they tried to kind of make the statues life size. They look it. Yeah, they look it. So it's a neat, it's a really neat place to start. And this was, as Donna said, our first entrance Mm -hmm. into the Cumberland Gap area. And it was really great. We were kind of killing time before we could check into our Airbnb. Right. We we, covered last week. Yeah. And it was a great B&B. Yeah. So this and and doing a quick little hike is a great way to kill time before going to your Airbnb. Great way to kill time. So, uh, so once you get to there, the the trail sp- splits off pretty quickly after the after the covered bridge, and so if you want to go to the left, that's following the Wilderness Trail Road, and that's the way you want to go to get to Gap Cave. If you go right, you can still follow the Wilderness Trail, but that's going toward Virginia. And one of the first things that you and I saw, and you noticed it before I did. Was deer? Yeah, a couple of five deer. feet off the road in the bushes. They were kind of hidden. Well, yeah, you said road. I mean, it's more of like a path. It's a dirt path. Kind it's of. It's pretty thing. wide. I it, mean, is, it is. Yeah. Actually okay. A road. I will give you that. Yeah. yeah. It is the wilderness road. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a road <laughs> that cars can drive on, but like we said, we bet Gator was on the on the road. It's wide. Okay. Yeah. So we saw deer. You saw deer. Yeah, I love it when I see deer. Yeah. I feel like I don't know. It's just kind of a a little nod to. All things beautiful. I agree. Yeah. And they, you know, they, of course, didn't bother us. They were big size. They and were, they, they weren't were freaked size. out by us. I can't imagine they would be. This, I mean, given the size of the parking lot and the fact that there's a visitor center there, it's clear that this is a very well-traveled. Country. I feel like they kind of just look up like, you got anything for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we're like, nope. And they're like, okay, well, we're just going to mosey on down the road. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. It so that was a really nice thing to see, like right yeah. away. And this was October twenty second, and so it this is peak fall colors. Yes. Oh my goodness! The very first, I, I I couldn't stop taking pictures of this this one red tree, and then it had another red tree next to it, and the yellows and the reds, the colors were so amazing. I'll put the pictures on Instagram, but yeah, fall in the Cumberland Gap was yeah. I couldn't have asked for. We couldn't have asked for better weather. We couldn't have asked for Blue better colors. Blue sky days. It was incredible. It was so amazing. Those deer did not really pose for pictures. They were too far into the brush to really get good pictures of them, but that's okay. That's okay. That, you know, they're you just know. going about their business. Yeah. They yeah. weren't planning on, you know, posing for a picture that day. So they just were like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. We're good. But hey, that's kind of what <laughs> I felt like. Yeah. No, I... It, so that was a nice way to start the trail. And as Donna has mentioned, the fall colors, every single scene was breathtaking. So you get almost every color in the spectrum, right? So you start with greens for the grass and some of the pines, some of the evergreens are green. And then mm-hmm. we had the deep blue sky that day, mm-hmm. deep blue sky. And then all of the yellows, oranges, and reds and Every shade of that in between. And there's something the magical was, when the sun is going through these colors of these leaves. It, it illuminates just, them. Yeah, it makes them look very fluorescent Yeah, in some instances. Yeah, and it was gorgeous. And this trail is very well maintained. It's, it's very well traveled, clearly, right? Because it's, it's a very popular trail. But it's very well maintained. And so this portion of the trail is basically gravel and dirt. So you could get a mobility scooter and probably if you had, I don't know if they make these like an off-road wheelchair, you could probably get an off-road wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so that's pretty friendly. And about 0.4 miles in, the trail splits off again and there's a sign pointing to Gap Cave off to the right. And so if you're going to Gap Cave, you want to take the trail to the right. Now, there was a point on this trail that it became paved sidewalk right after the right after that point okay so once you turn right to go into gap cave it's maybe a hundred yards before the pay it's almost like a paved sidewalk i I mean that's it is pretty much what it is yeah yeah i got a picture of it i'll put that on there yeah put that on there that's great it's a paved sidewalk and right at the paved sidewalk area if you look to the left 
you get a gorgeous mountain vista. Yeah. Yeah. This this trail had so many of our favorite things. Didn't have a waterfall. No waterfall. But mountain vista, cave. Gorgeous trees, gorgeous wildlife. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. It it did have everything. It checked a lot of boxes. For for such a short, quick hike. Yeah. It was absolutely well worth it. I will say that this was was this our first hike after Hurricane Helene? I can't no yeah. 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 Cause because I felt like, okay, so there's a point where you're going up to the gap cave. It is a pretty steep incline. Yeah. On the paved trail. Yes. Yeah. And I would think that if there are a lot of leaves that have fallen and if there's any moisture, then it could maybe be slippery. It wasn't slippery for us that day. I, yeah, I wouldn't think so. And and it was fairly windy, not too bad and breezy, I guess is the yeah. thing. And it's gonna breeze those it's gonna blow those leaves right off the paved sure. trail. But but yeah. And so about another two hundred yards up, the trail will split. And if you continue straight, you're going to go to one entrance to Gap Cave. And if you head up to the right, you're going to go even even higher up the mountain to another entrance of Gap Cave. So there are two entrances to Gap Cave. Both are paved. Mm -hmm. So if you have a mobility scooter, this is where it's going to shine. Like yeah, yeah. I, I would have been really jealous of somebody in the mobility scooter at this point because it's it's nicely paved and it's more straight up than I was then my muscles were ready for <laughs> it was now going straight wasn't too bad okay taking the path to the right to go to the upper portion of gap cave did start to really become a challenge it was a pretty steep incline sometimes 22 25 degree inclines yeah going up so we felt it on the way up. And that's the only thing that makes this a break of sweat yeah. trail. Otherwise, it'd be a piece of cake trail. For sure. But yeah. going up was what made it a break of sweat. Yep. And I didn't feel like going down was challenging. I mean, I, I, had, I think I had my pole with me that day. You did? Yeah. Yeah. Going down wasn't bad, especially because, because it was paved. paved. So it's just basically walking down a hill. Yeah. Whereas if it was gravel or whatever. You risk slipping on mm -hmm. gravel or, or dirt. So, I wish we had been able to go and see the inside of the cave. Yeah. More. So in order to see the inside of the cave, they only offer the tours May through September, and you have to make a reservation well in advance. Yeah. So if you're going to this, listeners, here's a pro tip. If you're going to try to do Gap Cave and Cumberland Gap, and it's between May and September, we highly recommend you do Gap Cave because we've seen the pictures of the inside. They do guided tours, and it's really pretty great. We unfortunately went in October. I say unfortunately. <laughs> the fall no. colors were spectacular. I wouldn't yeah. do it differently, but we may go back. I mean, honestly, there were, there were a couple of tours that we wanted to do once we found out that they were a thing, and we just looked at each other and were like, well, we're going to be back, so we're just yeah. <laughs> we'll <play. laughs> yeah. I loved Cumberland Gap so much. Yeah. I can't. I can't speak more highly yeah. of this region. I loved it. The people were so nice. Yeah. The trails were gorgeous. The, the weather was fantastic. I, I can't wait to go back. I want to go back in winter and catch snow. Yeah. So we, we may do a podcast in winter about hiking and snow in Cumberland Gap. So that'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be fun. Two Floridians hiking in snow. I, yeah, I can't Have wait. you really thought this through? I have. I have through. <laughs> so, Yeah. All in all, this was a great trail, and the, the way back was easy because you're going downhill mostly and, and a nice gentle decline. So what was your favorite part of the trail? Ooh, I would have to say my favorite part of the trail was that red tree in the beginning and the because uh, I took pictures of it at the beginning of our hike and at the end. The mountain vistas were amazing, and the beauty of the fall colors made me want to cry because it was so beautiful. Uh, we're doing, we're recording this podcast two weeks after we, two did. weeks after we did it. And that week, this was the first trail that we did for our Kentucky vacation. We did a total of how many hikes? We did seven hikes. In... And so over the next, over, the, we're going to do a total of five podcast episodes yeah. in the Cumberland Gap area. Yeah. yeah so, as beautiful as I thought this trail was, which which it was beautiful, we 
we saw more beauty in yeah. in the days to come. This was a great in the hours to come. This was a great trail. Some of the ones in the coming weeks are are some of our favorites that we've ever done. Yeah. I think. And interestingly enough, we are so all about waterfall hikes and we did one. One. We There's only one. one and it wasn't your favorite. No. We'll oh, we talk did, about that yeah. when we do <laughs> when we do the Cumberland Falls episode, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Not I mean, to the, spoil it too much. Cumberland Falls is called the Niagara Falls of the South. Yes. I don't see it. I do. I loved it, it, but you we hiked to Cumberland Falls one way and then we hiked back a different way and I, hiking back that different way. The second. Yeah, we're going to be super yeah, that, excited to be, talk about be that. That'll a full episode that I spend a lot of time talking. Yeah, yeah. You get like this twinkle in your eye and you just love that and, second. And your back was out too. It was. Yeah. On that day. So Yeah, we'll talk about. That. But anyway, all of that to say that as amazing and beautiful as this trail is and I do recommend it. I think people should do it. There are better ones yeah. out there. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a great um, trail. It is. And I would I I would do it once. I, I mean, mm, I'd go back again and try to get into the cave. Yes. Try to do it. I would go back in the cu- in the summer and try to do a tour of the cave. And so, I would visit that tree in October <laughs> if we yeah. happen. So, so that's our recommendation. Gab Cave Trail is a great trail any time of the year, but especially good if you go May through September, book a reservation so you can actually tour the cave itself. Mm-hmm. So that's our recommendation. I'm sure there's lots of history in that in that tour. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yeah. There's a sign up at the top that talks about what it is. There was, It was used by the Civil War, both the Union and the Confederacy, to store munitions and to... to right, there. like and not at the whole... same time. They were not playing nice with each other. I mean, like, I this so. this path, the Wilderness Trail, was taken over and used like like you it know shifted sides so exactly many times. this group says i'm the boss of the trail and then this group is like pew 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 no i'm the boss of the trail and then the other group was like pew 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 no we're the boss of the trail again so i guess i guess i'm making pew pew sounds and those are more like laser guns it's more like i don't know more like boom i don't know what a gun sounded like back then but they were aggressively taking over the trail back and forth i want to hear more gun sounds from you <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. I was going to let you go until you could not go any longer. Please continue. With I the saw gun that dumbfounded look on your that face. Was, like, that wasn't dumbfounded. That was, that was anticipation. That was awe. Waiting for the next gun sound. I'm going to work on my gun sounds. Okay? I don't think you should. I think you've got it down. I think you've nailed gun sound. So, so Civil War muskets sounded like what? Pew pew. <laughs> pew. Yeah, that's amazing. That is so amazing. So yeah, check it out. Gap Cave Trail in the Cumberland, Cumberland Gap National Historical Park. Mm-hmm. It's a great trail. Spend an hour. And if you do the cave tour, I'm sure it'll probably be two hours for this, for this short, fairly easy hike. It's a steep, steep walk up. But oh, it's yeah. not too bad. So listen, I guess if you have a mobility scooter to get up there, I don't know if you can do the cave tour with the mobility scooter I because think so. there's I think there's steps. Yeah. 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 So just heads up on that one. But you can get up there. You can there. get up you there get and close. look around. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. So yeah, Casual Climbers recommends Gap Cave Trail. Mm-hmm. So that's the episode this week, guys. This short Trail Snacks episode, we discussed Gap Cave Trail in Cumberland Gap National Historical Park in Kentucky. This is a great mile and a half trail there and back. Takes you to the top of the mountain where the Gap Cave is. And during May through September, you can tour the cave with a reservation. Which we plan on doing at some point Which in the future. Which we plan on doing. So thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe to us in whatever podcast app you use. And be sure to leave us a review because that's how our show grows. Feel free to check out our trail photos at casualclimbers.com. And if you have a question, comment, or just want to drop us a line, you can reach us at casualclimberspodcast at gmail.com. Donna, I need more gun sounds. You need more gun sounds. Yeah. Okay. So well, we're going to be talking about the. the we are going to be talking about. Yeah. It. The, I want to hear what it sounds like. The Gatlin gun from the Civil War. What is that? Gatlin gun is yeah. probably like. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And, and okay, what about the pistol? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, listeners, I'm going to end the podcast, but for the next half hour, I'm going to ask Donna what every single gun I can think of sounds like. Okay. So while I do that, we'll see you out on the trail. We'll see you out on the trail.